Welcome back. Rosh Hashanah, also known as the Jewish New Year, is here and joining us to make a traditional dish just in time for this holiday or any time is TV host and cookbook author Eden Grinspan. Welcome back Hi. to the show. Happy New Year. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Um, um, something's already popping. Snap, crackle, and pop. Yes, yeah. we've got, we're cooking. We're, we're making, making the brisket. brisket. Okay. Um, super traditional mm. dish, obviously, for uh, different Jewish holidays, but we're celebrating Rosh Hashanah, which is the Jewish New Year, as you said. And brisket, such a simple method and such just a classic. Uh, we have here our brisket. It's searing, salt, pepper. We're trying to get some gorgeous color on the mm -hmm. outside. Okay. And basically, yeah, if you want to turn that down a little bit. I do. Yep. What we're doing here is salt, pepper. We're going to throw it into the oven. Uh, it's Sorry, into the Dutch oven. We yeah. gotta be careful here because that's yeah. a big right. piece of meat, okay? Okay, it's yeah. really large. Use your Teflon so fingers. I'm gonna use my, yes. I'm gonna use my hands here and I'm just gonna move it to the side. Okay, okay. okay. Well done. Look at that. Look at that. that was a brave move. Thank you, thank you. I rolled my sleeves up for this yeah, one. Thank you. So we have some gorgeous color on the brisket and if you see here in the Dutch oven. We're gonna use that, right? We're gonna use that. That's the mm -hmm. base for this gorgeous sauce that we are going okay. to just build into this uh, right. gorgeous brisket. So right now, um, uh, I feel like we're gonna get some cutting going, Ryan. How do you feel that's about my, cutting some celery? That's my skill. We have celery, we have carrot, we have onion. That is a classic mirepoix, the base for mm -hmm. this gorgeous uh, braise, which is what we're doing here. And, oh, Gord, look at him with his knife skills. That's all, I'm gonna run out of skills in a second. Throw it right, right in, in there, right in there. Yo, oh, woo! Here Kelly. we go, watch out for the splatter. Eden, back up. It's getting dangerous. Okay, it is and we'll getting get the carrot. Dangerous. It's always dangerous anytime he is in the kitchen. Well, look at him. His knife skills are amazing. Uh, yes, yeah, he's yeah, got yeah. great knife skills and <laughs> terrible putting things in the Dutch oven skills. This Mom. is not a judgment segment, you two. No, it no is. No judging right? at all. Okay, so you, we have you go the, for it. Yes, Kelly, let's throw in what's, some what's, onions. And if you want to just take that spatula mm -hmm. and start stirring it together, yeah. um, it's going to smell really amazing. So good. And what's going to happen is this vegetable, they're going to start sweating out and they're picking up all that gorgeous caramelization that just was built at the bottom of the Dutch oven, okay? I'm going to make this tonight. You yes. just made me decide. Yes, let's do it. Want. And this is, you know, this is obviously a classic dish, dish but I put my spin that? on it. We have some fresh garlic over there and we have some fresh ginger. That's ginger, okay? okay. So we're going to have a little bit of heat built into this uh, beautiful mm -hmm. dish. For, and we're also going to add some spices. Here, Kelly, why don't okay. you throw in a sprinkling oh of some gosh, coriander it looks so seeds. Good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And we have some ground cumin over here. Mm -hmm. So we have some of those citrus notes and we have some earthiness from the spices mm -hmm. that it's going oh, to braise that. right into nice, that right? sauce. It smells really <sighs> good. It, things are happening. Things tomato are paste. Let's add in some tomato paste. Right, very nice. And we're cooking this brisket in a Dutch oven because it conducts heat so beautifully. The lid is really heavy. It holds all the steam. Mm -hmm. um, um, from the vegetables and the meat that's braising inside the actual Dutch oven when you throw it in the oven, so it really tenderizes it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is okay. This a little liquid? Wine. We need wine. wine. White wine. Right. It's the Jewish New Year. Let's <laughs> get some wine into this dish. So that wine mm. is just going to deglaze mm. a little bit of all of that beautiful flavor that's in there. That's and right. now what okay. we're going to do wow, is, great. I know, doesn't the it smell colors, delicious? The smell mm -hmm. the color Okay, so we're going to just handle this brisket one more time mm -hmm. for now. Shoot. And we're going to throw it back in, okay? Okay. Ready? So also don't get too intimidated by the size of this. It cooks um, down. It cooks down, and it yeah. really gets small throughout the process. Well, not small, smaller. Yes, yeah, smaller. Um, but that's and also tender. And tender. Uh, so how long will that end up in there? Before we put that in, let's just fill it up with some stock. Okay. Three quarters of the way. Okay. okay. Some Don't. beef stock. Mm -hmm. And now we want to just make sure that it has a gentle simmer. Throw the lid back on, and we're going to put it in a 350 oven for one and a half hours. Oh, okay. wow. Yes. <laughs> And it, that's not the whole cooking process. Right. We're going to do something else after. So it's, it's you know, okay. you'll see. All We're right. going to uh, finish up and uh, eat this it. brisket. <laughs> and we, we come, come back. back with Eden. Stick around. All right, back with Chef Eden making the perfect brisket for Rosh Hashanah, or any time, actually. Yes. So it's been in the oven and out now. Okay, so I love this trick. I picked this up actually um, a lot later in my life, which is so strange because I've been eating brisket for forever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, but this just makes the the plating process and the cutting process so much simpler. Wow, look at that steam. Oh look at gosh. that gorgeous. gorgeousness. Yeah. Mm, look at that. The aroma. It smells amazing, but it's obviously not done cooking because
because okay. this this brisket needs a lot of time in the oven to really get tender and gorgeous. To suck it all in. Suck right? it all yeah. in. We mm -hmm. want it to just absorb all those gorgeous flavors, that sauce. And now what we're going to do is we are going to slice the brisket, okay? Okay. So we're pre-slicing our brisket, and what we're going to do is we're slicing against the grain. So if you can see here the brisket, it's actually pretty easy to to tell. You see the lines going this way. You want to always slice against it, huh. okay? okay? And that way, when you actually eat your brisket, it's an easier it's eating process. It's an easier bite to take. I would have so, thought the complete opposite. Yes, you don't go with it. You go against mm -hmm. it. Look at that. We're course. going against the brisket. Go against, against the grain, the grain of the know. brisket. Go against the grain. I have a grain. feeling someone in your family is eating this tonight. Oh, yes. Yes, definitely. And, and this is like, you know, as you were saying, this is a gorgeous, obvious. moist mm -hmm. it is. It's, and it's not even done. Like, yeah, think right. about how much more tender it and delicious. Be. This is so smart, too, to pre-slice. Yes, because it also, like, look, it gets, it's just more beautiful to mm -hmm. serve that way. Mm -hmm. And I don't know about you guys, but I have had brisket before that, like, just falls apart, which is great. We want it yeah, to no, fall apart, but great. it looks like a hot mess. Right. Yep. And this is making sure that it doesn't look like a hot mess. Okay. So smart. Right back in, okay? Okay. Do you see that? Yep. Super simple. Watching. And that also, it also allows the sauce to kind of get to inside get it a little pieces. bit more. Mm -hmm. And now we're adding my secret ingredient, preserved lemon, okay? <gasps> So, it doesn't get enough credit. Mm -hmm. No, it doesn't. It, it lemon, really doesn't. doesn't. It? No. It's lemony, intensely mm -hmm. lemony. Do you preserve lemony. your own lemons? I do preserve my own <laughs> lemons. Of course but, but you, you are know. perfect. Oh, it is so crazy. So far from perfect. No, but you are. But this is just lemony. You want to add it in? Just add it into the sauce. Oh, and so just good. scatter it around inside the sauce and on top of the brisket. It's going to add such a beautiful lemony pop of flavor. And also, it cuts through the richness mm -hmm. of that brisket. So it just is that's like, a lot of richness. Yes, it is rich, but it's delicious. And that lemony flavor. That acidity just, to it. Absolutely. Perfect, right? mm. So now what we do is we put that lid back on and we throw it back into the 350 degree oven for another hour and a half. Then mm. we take it out and we simply just use, use a big spatula to just lay it down yep. on the platter. Mm -hmm. And it should just stay as is. Gorgeous. Look at this gorgeousness. Add then, some color. And you know what the thing that I love about brisket is? It's even better the day after. Yeah, always. It's even better it's like a year. couple yeah. days yeah. after. Yep. Like you can just have this and you know, in your fridge, perfect for leftovers. <laughs> the ultimate <laughs> comfort <laughs> dish, gorgeous uh, year round. And uh, it's, it's fantastic. It'll just make you happy. Well done. Here you go. Would you like Would you like a piece, Ryan? Yeah, I actually like this end piece. Oh, take it care. It looks so end good, piece. right? And yeah. Eden, thank you so much. Oh my Listen, God, all you have to do is head to our website, kellyandryan.com, for the full the recipe. Sauce. And for more amazing dishes by Chef Eden, check out her cookbook, Eating Out Loud, all the Middle Eastern flavors for all day, Love every day. This it is we a travel with it. It's Thank the you. We'll be right back. Cookbook. Thank you. Mm. If you would like to try Eden's recipe, just log on to our website at kellyandryan.com.